you know that the earliest evidence of archery dates back as far as 64,000 years? Crossbows in particular can be traced to biblical times. They have long been a means to our survival. From feeding and clothing to protection against invaders, they fashioned a path forward what we now know as humanity. But are crossbows now nothing but tools used to make a picture look cool? Despite being initially constructed as a lethal combat weapon, Definitely not. Welcome back to the U.S. Marines channel. Let's find out the history of crossbows and their ultimate relevance in modern warfare. What is a crossbow? A crossbow simply consists of a horizontal bow and an arrow. It uses an elastic launching device and follows the mechanism of a bow. However, unlike a bow, it requires less physical strength. A crossbow steadies the draw with its locking principle and significantly reduces the arbalist exertion, enabling a firm hold without much demand for physical strength. This begets better shooting precision. The orientation of the crossbow we are familiar with was designed in China in the 5th century to serve as a fatal war warfare weapon. The medieval European crossbow was referred to using different names, many of which had ballista, a siege engine, as their base name. Over the years, the crossbow has been redesigned, and there are many forms out there, from recurve or repeating crossbows to pistol or rifle crossbows. No matter the specificities, it is regarded as a crossbow if it shares similarities with a horizontal bow. Historical use of crossbows in warfare. Crossbows basically turned around warfare in the Levant, Europe, and East Asia. Combat was limited in Europe from around the 11th century to the 15th. It was never a large-scale combat conflict, especially when modern warfare is used as the basis for comparison. Nothing but countrymen serving as archers and two armies of retainers and knights are seen. The wars are carefully prepared for, and each group takes a base at their preferred location with crossbows serving as their major weapon. The crossbowmen are always maximally trained, and one can only successfully weaponize a crossbow with enough preparation and planning. These arbalists are then positioned in the front row to shoot the quarrels and significantly reduce the fighting power of their opponents, shifting the tide in their favor. The arrangement of the crossbowmen in the field is usually made bearing the range of the crossbow in mind. At the time, having a skilled arbalist was essential as crossbows have a firing accuracy that triumphs over other weapons hands down. Given their efficiency, they could serve during offense as well as defense, a perk not found in other combat tools at the time. Back then, men handling crossbows had highly placed backgrounds and were taught the mechanics of archery from their early years. Given the technicality of crossbows, these men were treated like upper-class citizens and well-regarded. It was the go-to weapon for culture and cost less since it did not require much manpower. Modern use of crossbows in the military Vietnam War To combat the Viet Cong, the native Montrignards used crossbows during the Vietnam War and also during prior conflicts. At that time, the use of this weapon made the Montrignard army a strong faction of the Vietnam-based U.S. force, making them indispensable. Interestingly, these crossbowmen were also included in Green Berets teams. Today, crossbows are not as commonly used as in earlier years. If you find someone with a crossbow, they either use it for sport, hunting, or shooting a target. Nonetheless, they are not entirely out of trend. They still have significant applications in modern warfare. Crossbows now come in easy-to-carry varieties, and they are designed to weigh less than usual. This adjustment forms the major difference between the time-worn crossbows and the modern versions. Crossbows are appreciated in modern warfare for a number of reasons, one of which is its silent but precise firing. It can be used in stealth, making it a weapon that can catch opponents off guard. Crossbows become valuable if there is a need to operate without alarming enemies. In a Jane's Defense weekly publication, or JDW, Paul Beaver explained that crossbows are not only silent killers, but also have psychological effects. Given the scale of wars today, it might not be a go-to option, but for major missions requiring secrecy, it should top the list. Speaking of the application of crossbows in modern warfare, Edricito del Peru, the Peruvian army in America, trained soldiers to create a zip line in challenging terrains using ropes and crossbows. 
Soldiers are also equipped with crossbows in Brazil at the Jungle Warfare Training Center. A 150-foot-pound crossbow was designed by SAA International Limited, which is a version of the launched grapnel hook owned by the U.S. Army. This crossbow can also be used to search for tripwires and detonate them. The same can also be done to clear out booby traps. Since it has a retrieval line usually made with plastic, its mechanism resembles a rifle-fired launched grapnel hook. With this retrieval line, one can work with the weapon without alarming the opponents and also use it up to 20 times. In short, the weapon is usually employed in missions where noise reduction is a priority. Europe also had its hand on crossbows and used them in warfare. In the southwest of Kosovo, in regions of Jakovica and Peck, the Kosovo Liberation Army was met with the counter-sniper weapon. Crossbows, used against them by the Serbian forces during the Kosovo War, who bought them from Barnet International. Working through the Trade and Industry Department, Whitehall started an investigation and confirmed that crossbows had no export regulations as they were not on the military list and were as such used to set ambushes without restriction. Seen checking out the functionality of a Barnet crossbow was Dragan Sudonovic, Serbian Minister of Defense. On the 15th of February 2008, it was during the course of the Serbian Army's Special Force public exercise. Not only are crossbows employed by the Special Forces in Serbia, but they are also used by the Greeks, the Turks, and the Green Berets in Spain. The use of crossbows in modern warfare extends to Asia. Many armed forces in China are equipped with this weapon, among which are the People's Liberation Army and the Snow Leopard Commando Unit of the People's Armed Police, which is a special force. This is mainly because crossbows can stop enemies with explosives in a way that will not result in an explosion. In 2009, crossbows were also used to complement the modern military weapon used to subdue the conflicts during the Xinjiang riots. Regardless of the significance of crossbows in modern warfare, many still enjoy their domestic purposes. They are used scientifically to shoot wells for a blubber biopsy sample, in shooting sports, and in hunting. What do you think about crossbows now? Should its use be encouraged in modern warfare, or it's time to let go of old baggage? Share your view in the comments section below. If you find this video fascinating, click on the next, and you can be sure another exciting piece of content awaits.